What is up here? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame Maiden of Blackwater Blind. In the last episode, we started to climb up this mountain, and well, we found ourselves here. There were a couple of ghosty ghosts that managed to escape my, my camera, but we are going to continue exploring off this way, and then eventually go over here, because I'm pretty sure that's where we need to go. Now, I've actually revamped my setup, um, which is nice, yet again, just kind of working on picture quality and everything. Things might be a little bit too dark for my liking on my end. It, it shouldn't matter in terms of recording, so things should still be pretty consistent for you guys. But let's see what we can find up here. Oh, I love these little pinwheel things. They add so much to the atmosphere. And sorry uh, for all the different <laughs> delays in terms of actually getting episodes of this game up. I know those of you who have been watching have been so... What's been really nice is you've been so vocal about actually enjoying the series. And, and I've been wanting to get back to this game as well. However, life's been incredibly busy lately and unfortunately haven't had the time. So I'm glad I you know carved this time out. Well, carved <laughs> the time out is not really fair. Uh, really forcing this time, but within the shrine sits a friendly looking Jizo statue. Several small figures have been set around it. And that's just because I'm transitioning from like a day shift to a night shift, so I've got a whole bunch of time at night to try to stay awake. And I'm actually quite tired, so wish me luck. Hopefully my reflexes are still somewhat on point. What can we check here? Several white cloths are tied around the tree trunk. Perhaps they're meant as some sort of ward. Oh, that's probably not a good sign for whatever we're walking towards. But I see an item off in the distance. Uh-oh. Wait, haven't we been here before? Didn't we just walk out from the other side? So there's some items over this way. So I guess we can start over here. Oh man, I'm definitely going to have to adjust these video settings. For the next episode, the Rear Shrine. <laughs> it's titled the Rear Shrine. This must be what the shrine was dedicated to. A shrine dedicated to <clears throat> the Rear. The lost orphan children are called by the sunset to climb. Called by the sun as it sets in the realm of the dead crossing over into the netherworld so that they might cross over into the netherworld as they come together and play. We honor them with effigies. Yikes. Well, that's pretty spooky, if you ask me. Got some film over here. Ooh, Type Zero film. The really good stuff. We take that. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if there was some sort of ghost that appeared on our way out. Oh, can we open this? We can. And this is going to be the shrine with the effigy. Some dolls are missing from the middle of the shelf. Someone must have taken them. The camera is reacting to something. Ooh. Okay. So we have to find these effigies, potentially. Huh. I'm going to take a picture of this with my phone for a couple reasons. One, the last time this happened, I wished I could see the, the picture again, and that was problematic. The second of which is, I don't know how long we're actually going to be wandering around before we get back here. And if... Oh, there's a ghost behind the statue, too. And if this episode ends before we actually find it, that'll be a really helpful reminder next time around. But I think we walked by that, right? There's something in the photo. There are statues in a small shrine. I can see something white behind them. Oh, and then there's a second picture? Okay. Oh, oh these must be the kids that we encountered earlier. Maybe they're playing some sort of, like, hide-and-seek setup, right? So this is the second child hiding behind those statues. There are five statues in a line. Something's in the middle behind them. And then, of course, one more. Which is, I think, above the shrine that we're currently in. Right? The rear shrine. So that one should be pretty easily attainable. It's a rooftop. Is there something on it? These look like places here on the Twilight Peak. They might be worth checking out. 
<laughs> AKA, they are certainly worth checking out. So, what I'll do for now... Huh. What was that? Did you guys see that? Oh, hello! Oh my! That did a lot of damage, didn't it? Alright, I gotta get ready to be in combat mode again. Oh, you know what? I should, um... I should probably upgrade my camera again. Ooh, nice. we got a nice fatal frame in there. We can heal a little bit with the healing shot again. We're getting plenty of attacks in there. I'll uh, turn, rotate the camera this way. There you are. And you do not have a lot of health left. So I think the next time we get you will be your last. Oh, what? Darn it. So, oh wait, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. We're gonna have to use a purifying ember. I swear, can, can you guys clarify if I can actually react to that? I know I've probably mentioned it, or you guys have answered that question in a previous episode, but I really feel like it was just near impossible to react to that. I feel like this last attack is gonna be enough. Darn it. <sighs> Time for another purifying embers. <laughs> great start, great start, guys. We're doing well. You can see the health bar, right? And I thought this ghost would be dead by now. Now they finally are. But, um... Oh, can we not even get the fatal glance? They're still too far? That's a disappointment. So, a couple things going on, right? I thought... I would be able to um, do a little bit better there. I thought I'd be able to react to that curse attack. The ghost dropped an old doll draped in a red cloth when it disappeared. Okay, so we got our third effigy. We are notably low on health, so I'll use I'll use an herbal medicine just to give us a little bit of a buffer. We don't have a ton of spirit power at the moment, but I'll try to use that healing shot when I can. Also, I have to again remember to use my upgrades, right? So, Because we have plenty of points. I should probably, or at least what I would want to do, I think. Hmm. I think I'll want to do the loader again. Just have that, like, fully upgraded. So that's at max, which is nice. Absorption. And then maybe going back down to this lens. Oh, we're close, but not quite there. That'll probably be the next thing I upgrade, honestly, just because of how frequently I end up using it. Alright, so the next question is going to be, where can we find those other ghosts? Man, those, the sort of, like, fog in this area makes it quite difficult to navigate. Which I'm sure is 100% intentional. Is there something over here? Oh, this is, uh, this is the second picture, right? Nice. So we've only got one, or no, this was the first one. The ghost dropped an old doll shaped in a red cloth, or draped on a red cloth when it disappeared. So that was the, eff the, the doll, effigy doll one. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm sorry, I'm tired, it's really late. I'm trying to stay up late. I was like, borderline, not even gonna record, I was like, am I too tired for this right now? Or can I actually make it work? And I, th I think I'm gonna make it work. But we'll see. Do I want to go right or left first? I think I'm going to try left because that's the less likely to be the, you know, true path forward. Oh, and just like that, we have our third doll, or rather second one, over on the right. Where'd you go? I was going to say, still playing hide and seek? Come on. Okay, so we've got Effigy 2, and that should be all of them. So let's really quickly just kind of explore this little area over here. I don't, doesn't seem like we'll find a whole lot, if I'm honest. Hidden almost invisible against the jagged rocks stand several Jesus statues. Okay. 
so that's where we would have gone had we gone that way. Um, yeah, we'll probably go back here to the rear shrine of dolls and then venture back on over. Gotta get those steps in, Yudi. Are there any Fatal Frame movies? I feel like this series lends itself well to a movie. But I don't know. You returned Effigy 1 to the shelf, you returned Effigy 2 to the shelf, and you returned Effigy 3 to the shelf. You returned all the effigies to the shelf. You got the reward lens, a lens that increases the number of points earned by taking photos for a short time. Oh, I I love this type of lens. The lens that allows you to kind of optimize whether it's like gold or EXP or in this case points is something I always really enjoy utilizing. Although it can obviously be abused potentially. To use it equip it to your camera obscura and press square when you have enough spirit power. Okay. Are we going to get attacked? Possibly. It sounds like it. Can you hear that? Let's see here. That's probably one of the lenses I want to equip, right? We have three equipped at the moment. We have the healing one, we have the stun one, which makes a lot of sense, and then we have, I think the one that slows them down? This one, right? Yeah. So I think what I want to do... Let's crush. This is... The reward lens. Let's go to equipment, lenses. We'll replace you with you. Perfect. Oh, and our score is uh, 61,687. So we should be able to get that lens enhancement. Right? Oh, no, I see. That's just our score for this particular level, not the number of points we have. My bad. Okay, so we've made our way back over here. Now the question is, do we want to explore... Well, we can really go either way, honestly. I think I'd rather start by working our way up from this entrance over here. I wonder if that little side quest to get the reward lens was was actually optional, right? Do we even need that, do that little side quest to progress the game here? I don't know. Huh. Let's explore over this way for now. What are we going to find? Look at all of that steam? Fog? Rising up. Hmm. I'm surprised Yudi's not, like, hallucinating and seeing, you know, visions in the steam or whatever. Hot steam rises from cracks between the yellowed rocks. The air nearby is hot and filled with a stench of sulfur. What's kind of neat is, you know, for how visual a game like this is, a lot of the descriptions of the environment remind me of a lot of text-based adventures, you know, or, or books where they'd be very descriptive, well, descriptions, right, of, or vivid descriptions of the environment that we're actually encountering. Wait, we're actually, like, on a coast now? This looks dangerous, so we'll be back. <laughs> I actually fear that that's exactly where we need to go. So, in classic Nick fashion, we are going to go the opposite direction. I'm actually really surprised that this path didn't connect with the other one up closer to the shrine. So, let's see what we can find over this way. Oh, hello! Hisoka Kurosawa on Twilight Peak. So... Wait, does this mean this is where I'm supposed to go? This way? Oh, that's exactly what this means. I should have been using that the whole time. So maybe... Maybe the coast is actually somewhere I can explore for now. Although the coast is probably really dangerous, right? It's probably black water. 
And we also know the theme in general of water in this game is rather dangerous. Can we go into the water? We can. For better or for worse. Am I actually supposed to be able to explore this? I don't know. It looks so vast out there. I wouldn't expect to actually find anything, really. But if we were going somewhere the game didn't really didn't want me to go, I'd imagine they would turn me around or, or block me at some point. Like this. So I guess that's the extent to which we can go. I wouldn't be surprised if we were able to get all the way out there, though. We are quite deep in the water. Can I go out this way? I can't tell if I'm approaching the gate or not. I think I'm at my limit here as well. I wonder if there are any items in the water way out here. You know? Like, I'm kind of surprised they allow us to wade all this way. If there's really nothing to gain from it. Maybe I just have to go back in that opposite direction. Around that alcove in that area over there. Let's see what else we can find. Interestingly enough, I don't really hear much background music. Right? It's kind of... Almost like overwritten by the sound effects of the beach. What is this? Are these, like, some graves of some sort? I'm so curious to find out what all these pinwheels mean, too. So maybe this is just an area we, we come back to later on in the level, and it'll have some significance at that point, because I don't see any items. And we obviously haven't triggered a cutscene. And we've reached that limit. So, yeah, I think we're actually good on this end. If I am missing something here, let me know. But but I don't think so. Not yet, at least. And if that's the case, we'll follow what Hisoka's spirit was showing us. Is that like a cave over there I can get to? No? Okay. Alright, well, suit yourself, Beach. I guess I'll have to come back there for a photo shoot. <laughs> a lot of neat scenery. I think we're trying to go this way. Oh, I thought correctly. We actually get a detailed close-up of the Maiden of Black Water. So go to the rescue, please. Break free. Not quite. Come on, come on. <laughs> Seriously? She moves so fast. Oh, we're about to die. Fatal frame, nice. Can we break free from the box? I think we did. Awesome. So we're actually fighting the the maiden of black water now. So I'm just gonna take a picture of those things to get rid of them. Wow, she's like setting up so many of them. 
she's got a shutter chance, which is nice, but yeah, she's like setting them up like landmines almost. Where is she? I don't even know where she is right now. Like I... Excuse me? Where are you? I have zero idea where you are right now. There you go. Oh, I missed out on the shutter chance. The loading time, while faster obviously, is not perfect. Okay. Got a little bit of damage there. And avoid. Nice. Oh, don't, don't stand in the thing. Come on. That, that works for now, I guess. I think I dodged. Luckily, because I couldn't actually get the, the fatal frame. Oh, I missed the shutter chance again. <laughs> Come on. Alright, yeah, I need to I need to be able to block him. There we go. That was a good shutter chance. It seemed like a strong one, too. I've got a decent amount of spirit power. I should probably try to... Um, What's it called? Oh. I should try to do a healing shot soon. Where are you? I don't like that these things are getting set up all over. And they're approaching, too. Uh, what? I don't like that. So those curse balls are getting quite close. That one's really close. So we're gonna narrowly avoid that one. We're getting a little too close for my liking. Good shutter chance there. And I think there's one over this way too, right? Nope, I was just getting the icon, but... Oh, there's some herbal medicine there. Let's go pick it up. Oh, I guess I can't pick it up yet. So we will patiently wait. What is that? Oh. So that's like a... Nice, we got the fatal frame. Are you dead? Run, 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 run. This is a fatal glance I really don't want to miss. Oh. Nope, you're not dead. Just stunned, maybe changing battle patterns or whatever it is. Gonna do that to get rid of those. What? Oh, I, I got trapped again. It's so funny how quickly she runs across. She's just like scattering across, you know? Alright, so these little curse balls are down here. Oh, she's totally gonna attack me now. Come on. Shut her chance, nice. Oh, we can get another one right there, too. Ooh, the damage for that one was 666. How topical. Alright, you're about to attack. Can I get a fatal frame, please? Where'd you go? Right in front of me, I guess. I got a ghost photograph, but not quite a fatal frame, which is what I was hoping for. I'm gonna remember, I should get a healing shot. Dodge, nice, nice. Nope, not nice, apparently. So, we'll use the nervous medicine. I dodged it, but I must not have gotten far enough away to actually make any meaningful difference. We got a fatal frame there, which is good. And naturally, I use my healing shot after she's already dead, but that's okay. We, we took her out. It wasn't too bad. Now, what are we picking up here? A journal with a black cover has been left here. Did it belong to that old woman? The Black Diary 1. We must forge more pillars. The Great Pillar is collapsing. The Great Pillar? Who's the Great Pillar? The black water will overflow. The black water must be contained before the Great Pillar melts away. Another journal has been left in the same place. Water Design Journal 1. It has been written in beautiful handwriting. I became a shrine maiden after I survived that flood. I was half dead when I woke, alone amongst the corpses. I could see things, things that no one else could see. That was my calling. I purified my body, and when I arrived at the mountain I was overwhelmed with a cacophony of voices, the talking trees, the whispering stones, the weeping water. 
echoes of past prayers piled up one on top of another. Time slowed to a crawl, and I could see each individual raindrop that fell. The veins on every leaf stood out vividly. Images of death flashed in front of me. I could smell the choking stench of death. I was told I would need more training. I wanted to flee as soon as I arrived, but I had no home to run away to. No matter where I go, it will be the same. In the end, I will be alone. You got the Blow Lens, a lens that allows you to deal twice the normal damage output to targets. Wow, that's actually really strong. I don't know if it'll beat my, uh, my obsession with the Restore Lens, but that sounds really good. Alright, couple herbal medicines, and let's see, where are we? I wonder, was that just an optional battle of sorts, or what? A new pillar must be found. Turn around, get the picture. Nope. And it seems like they've got quite the fixation on us becoming said pillar. Where am I supposed to go? Question answered. Hisoka Kurosawa heading to the lake. Ah, uh, so now we head over to the lake. I was expecting a sort of grand battle at the lake, but it doesn't seem to be the case. I guess this works. Hisoka Kurosawa standing in the lake. I was like, where's the ghost? I don't know. Is it actually her? <gasps> Do we actually find her? Or do we just get lured? Yikes. Maiden of Blackwater. Final form. Home field advantage in the water. Run from the shadow? Okay, okay. I'm, I'm down. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. But, um, I'll run. That's, that's cool. Don't really know where I'm supposed to run to. Just kind of hoping for the best. And, yep. Yeah. Oh. Nope, not towards the shadow. Oh? Did I move in the right direction? Seems like it. I did something right. <laughs> it's the beach from before. Have I lost her? I should leave here and get away from the mountain right now. Yuri followed Hisoka's trace to the shore of the Lake of the Departed, where it vanished into the mist. In her place, a woman appeared, the same dark presence seen in Hisoka's photograph. Unable to inflict any damage with the camera obscura, Yuri's only option was to run. Yuri recalled the outline of a large tori gate to over the misty lake. Could that be where Hisoka was headed? Ooh. We'll probably have to explore that later on at some point. Wait, S plus? That's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably because of well, the type 90 film. I don't I don't know what put us at S plus, but now now I know there's an S plus rank. That's gonna be the the goal for all the other chapters now too. Maiden of Black Water, cool. So eighth drop we're playing as Ren Hojo. Keep watch. What does that mean? When I think of keep watch, 
it, it almost sounds like we're going to be holding down a fort, right? It's going to be one of those sort of like endless waves of enemies type levels. That would actually be pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, S plus. I've gotten quite a few S's as well as, you know, an A and a B. But S plus is really the, the way to go, I guess. And I will say, even though this is probably going to be a short episode, we'll save that eighth drop for in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was good to get back into the game. I'm super tired. So my apologies for cutting this short and not being, you know, crazy about starting the next one. I also obviously don't know how long each of these drops is going to take, right? You can see some of them take 59 minutes or, you know, just over 50 minutes. Some take an hour and 40 minutes, some just over an hour. Um, some half an hour, some 45 minutes, so I never really know. I'm uh, just taking my best guess with each episode and hoping for the best, but that was a fun one. I really like that we got a little more interaction with specifically the Maiden of Blackwater. Obviously with those journals, we're starting to gain some insight into what her story is specifically and how it relates to supposedly some sort of obsession with Yuri. And unfortunately we did not find Hisoka, so that's gonna be something we strive uh, to accomplish in, I guess, a later drop. A little bit of a bummer, but, uh, you know, plot devices, right? So, <laughs> I'm excited to see what happens when we finally do catch up to Hisoka. Hopefully it's not too late. But, until the next episode, when we finally play as Ren again, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.